Hey everybody, Reb Nation here, and I wanted to give you all an update. Clearly I have uh, picked up my 2023 Ford Maverick from the dealership where it was getting serviced for almost a month now. So uh, what they ended up doing, they fully replaced the windshield, but that's not the full story. So uh, stick around and I'll fill you in. Thanks. Right, to give everybody a quick update on what happened is I ended up having like this crazy rattling noise that ended up coming from the windshield and they attempted to reseal the windshield and that was unsuccessful and then they kind of wait, let things wait around for, you know, uh, a week or two and um, were just sort of giving me excuses and then they said they were done. So I went and picked it up and I was driving out of the service bay into the parking lot and it was making the same like really obnoxious loud noise, but now on the other side. And uh, what ended up happening is they had to contract somebody else to come out and actually replace the windshield. And they were saying that there was um, factory defects on the metal that didn't align with the original like epoxy that they used and the windshield that they used. So it was a pretty serious problem. And ultimately they found a gentleman, uh, ordered a windshield through him. I, this is not the uh, Ford factory windshield. It is an aftermarket one. I, I don't know what the brand is or, you know, whatnot. But I'll tell you, it, it works really great. Uh, I have no issues. The wind noise isn't bad. It, it's sealed. The, uh, the person that they hired is just some local contractor guy. I, I don't know his name or info or anything. But he did a great job. And I'm, I'm very fortunate that they... Uh, that they, you know, sought him out and, and allowed him to replace this with something that is probably better than, than what's being rolled out of the uh, Mexico plant with the Ford Maverick. So uh, the, the alarming part was that, you know, the metal alignment and, you know, something with the factory windshield not lining up. So in my brain, that is a, a recallable situation because now you're talking about, you know, air gaps, uh, water vapor gaps, safety issues, all sorts of potential problems. And it, it sounds like it could be just a, a bit of a fitment issue that they could take care of at the plant and, and save themselves and their customers tons of, tons of issues. So I, I picked it up and was driving it around. The only uh, thing that I can say is the chemical compound that they used in this was very strong. So uh, yeah, that was the one downside. I felt like I was kind of getting a headache, but I left the windows down for like a couple of days and just sort of let it air out. I figured that they would have done that, but you know, I don't know. They, they put the windshield in and then just sort of shut the doors and didn't let things air out. So it was, it was pretty, uh, uh, smelly let's just say um, so you know then I was driving along and I get an alert on my Ford Pass app which I'll get into that in another video but the Ford Pass app has been absolutely phenomenal and uh, the Ford Pass app alerted me that I had a service engine soon light on and I tapped into it and it gives you an option. I'll put it up on the screen, but it's like, you know, what is this and what should I do about it? So I think that that was a really great thing that they did. And it turns out it's an exhaust uh, gas kind of uh, uh, ratio that was off. So they said that it was either my air filter uh, or the tubing around, you know, my, my engine manifold, I believe and then maybe something potentially happened to the actual exhaust itself. I contacted the dealership and they said, yeah, you're gonna have to bring it back in. Uh, that sounds like it could be something, you know, relatively serious. The check engine light was on, 
but it was only on for uh, you know a few hours and then it kind of went back off. I'm still gonna bring it in uh, on that Monday. Uh, that coming, uh, uh, sorry, uh, this next Monday, I'm going to bring it in and hopefully they'll get it taken care of for me right away. And I can actually start making some, some videos, enjoying my new Ford Maverick, you know, which I've been wanting to do for, uh, some time now since I picked it up January 6th and I've only got, you know, just over 800 miles on it. I've barely gotten to drive this thing. And most of that was a single road trip. So yeah, I, I think I've had this in full operation for maybe four days, something like that, which is crazy. Um, but plenty, of to, uh, plenty to come. I look forward to kind of sharing all of everything that, that happens moving forward with everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Comment below uh, kind of what, how you would feel about this situation, what you would do. Am I frustrated that I have to bring it back to the dealership? Sure. But, you know, I, I'd rather have them take care of something than me just ignore it. And then it, it's a small problem that turns big. So, oh, well, such is life. I uh, look forward to uh, hearing what you all think. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned and we'll see you soon.